to catch the world's worst criminals, you gotta get the world's worst artist. And I know just the guy. It's, it's me. I'm Kyla Kid and welcome back to lineup. We got art to do and criminals to catch and apparently this criminal was up to illegal activity on a sunny day That really narrows it down. Yeah, I've noticed the further we get into this game The more I find myself having to draw like environments not characteristics of the actual criminal But like what was happening that day? Oh, it was raining. Okay. I gotta draw rain. I guess it was foggy How do I draw fog? I don't know We'll cross that bridge if we have to. I tried to draw a sun in the corner and um, the next button is in my way. So like, I, I'm worried that I'm, I'm gonna accidentally press the next button. So I'm just gonna try to draw around the next button. And, and there's my sun real bad. Maybe it needs some orange. There you go. You got orange sun rays. You got yellow sun rays. It's the perfect day. They were in summer clothes. I don't know what that means. I live in California, so those are just all year clothes. I assume it's short sleeves and shorts. Maybe sunglasses. Maybe a sun visor. Maybe a fanny pack. It's each their own, I suppose. I'm gonna give this person a pink t-shirt because that's the way they roll. And honestly, pink is a is a is a summer color. You know what? Pink polka dots. How's that? Looks more like this person just has terrible body acne. Acne. Then we'll give them some some light blue shorts. That's a summer person if I've seen one with a dark blue striped top on. Oh man, I gave you pink polka dots. Okay, that's fine. We'll just we'll add some dark blue stripes. Now you look like you just escaped from some kind of weird summer jail. I remember a pointy hat. Really? Like that's the that's the last thing that you remember? I feel like that's the first thing you remember. I do like the idea of this person wearing a very pointy hat. There you go. <laughs> I can't I can't fit it on the screen. I don't have enough headspace. All right, there you go. So this person is a magician. That's a pointy hat, but that is not a blue striped top. You're out, lady. This guy, that's a hard no. He just got out of a 3D movie. No blue stripes. No blue stripes. <gasps> blue stripes. Pointy hat. He's wearing sunglasses. The ultimate summer fashion statement that you don't just wear in summer, especially where I live. Pretty sure it's this dude. Look at that smile. That's the smile of a monster. You're a close second, but you're not wearing blue stripes. So you're out, bud. It's this guy. Send him to the slammer. Hey, I'm on. Yeah, I'm I'm too good. I don't think I don't want to mess up our streak, but it's worth mentioning that uh, I've caught every single bad guy up to this point. That's 17 arrests, 100% catch rate. What's the jigsaw jumbler up to? She played a lot of basketball. She had good behavior. Good behavior. She had good behavior and she never tried to escape. That's really like that's a I mean, I, I guess that's like congratulations. But at the same time, kind of what you're forced to do when you're in prison is not escape. You know what, Jigsaw Jumbler? You're free to go. You're free to go. The Jigsaw Jumbler, I wonder what she actually did. It makes me think that like people were at a park bench putting together a puzzle and she came over and just went blah, 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 and then ran away. That's a crime. That's a crime worth going to prison for. <laughs> All right, we made a good decision. We made a thousand bucks. Sending that straight to my savings account since I can't upgrade my office anymore. Makes me a little sad. Next case, please. The Mineshaft Maniac. At first I thought that said the Minecraft Maniac. I thought we were about to draw Steve. Now I kind of want to just draw Steve. The Maniac had a striped top on. Hear me out. Steve from Minecraft, the Minecraft Maniac if you will. He wears a, a like a teal shirt. I guess this is kind of more light blue. And admittedly, it's it's not completely striped, but it is in Minecraft fashion. There are kind of stripes on Minecraft Steve's shirt. However, I've decided to restart because I did not make him square enough. There you go. That's what we're talking about. At this point, he just kind of looks like a football player, very broad shoulders. But this is going to be my artistic rendition of Minecraft Steve if he was a criminal. So we're going to give him some stripes. That's the way our Steve looks. This is very bad. It's a strong start. They also had a round nose. Oh, Steve. 
You have a round nose, as most people do. Although I would kind of say Steve has a square nose. Okay, it's time to draw Minecraft Steve's head. This is hair. Then Steve has, has blue eyes. Oh man, I kind of messed that up. Hold on. Wait, we can fix this. Oh gosh, that's terrifying. But here, here. Okay, he's got he's got square eyeballs. I'm trying to do squares. It's, it's easier said than done when your finger covers what you're actually drawing. Okay, let's give him a round nose. I mean, technically, it's a it's a square nose. We'll just remember it's kind of round. He kind of looks like Ernie from Sesame Street right now. Let's ignore that. And then there's there's Steve's little little smile or big old smile. That's that's the face of a Minecraft maniac for sure. For sure. This is really bad, and I kind of love it. What's next? They were surprisingly happy. There you go. It's definitely Steve. I think the most unsettling part of my rendition of Minecraft Steve is that it kind of looks like he has normal limbs coming out of his square Minecraft limbs because of the base, like, human image that they give you on the piece of paper. If it was a blank piece of paper, it would be far less unsettling. Okay, slightly less unsettling, but still unsettling. Let's catch Steve. You're going down, pal! You're not happy enough, and you don't look anything like Minecraft Steve. You look happy, but you're not wearing blue stripes. You're not happy. You're not happy. You are very happy. You're not the culprit. No, 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 no. No. Why am I saying no to everybody? Oh, no. Wait, it didn't say where the blue stripes are. So the blue stripes could be on their pants. Who's happy? You're happy, but you don't have any blue stripes on. You're happy. You don't have any blue stripes on either. Did it specifically say blue stripes? Oh, no. I don't think it did. And it might be this lady. This lady is actually Minecraft Steve. I'm on to you, lady. Or should I say Steve? Yeah, I don't think it specified what color the stripes were. I just took some artistic liberty because I feel like if Steve wore stripes, they would be blue or teal. It's her. She's Steve. Arrest this woman. Get out of my sight. That's right. We've done it again. And we've caught the Minecraft maniac. Next case, please. The bathroom escapee? I like it. They had freckles on their face. Okay, we can do that. Just give them a couple freckles. Very cute. Next, dark colored clothing. So we'll just go with black. And it was actually just a giant box that they were wearing. Quite the fashion statement, I do have to say. <laughs> It's like I censored them. Looks like they had just come out of the shower. So true. This is the first thing I do when I get out of the shower is I put on a box. That's how I dry off. Okay, so we have to like indicate that they were wet. So we'll just we'll add some like water droplets to their to their box and also to their head. But don't get confused. That's not hair. And that right there. That what you're looking at is art. And I think it really expresses a lot of emotion. All right, let's catch this this evil person. What was it? Sleepless something? I, don't, I forget. No, it had something to do with toilets. Oh my goodness, what if they took a shower in the toilet? That is a crime. And by shower, I mean bath. You're not wet. You're not wet. You're... Nope. Ah, freckles. Dark clothing. And they're wet. I'm a little disappointed that you're not just wearing a box, but your hair makes up for it because it looks like you're wearing a marshmallow on your head and it's beautiful. Let's just double check that no one else fits the criteria. You're not wearing anything dark. You are wearing, ooh, she has freckles too. And she's wearing a shower cap. Oh man. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is actually, this is actually for real tricky, man. I don't think it's Marshmallow Head. I, I don't. I think I think it's her. It just said that they were wearing dark colored clothing. It didn't say they were wearing a dark colored shirt, dark colored pants. She's wet and she's wearing a shower. I think it's her. And she has freckles. It's her. Guilty, 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 guilty. Oh my gosh. We almost messed that one up. And uh, I, I'm not going to lie. These, these are getting harder. But we got you. Bad art equals catch the bad criminals. It's what I've always said starting just today. Murder on the Express? That sounds intense. Let's do it. The murderer was in a pink or purple sweater. Okay. All right. Then I guess I'll draw half of a of a sweater um, in pink and then the other half of the sweater in purple. It's, it's very, very bad. I got to I gotta color this in to make it a little bit more obvious as to what it is that I'm actually trying to draw here. 
although it's still very bad. What if they were actually wearing a half pink, half purple sweatshirt? I feel like that would be kind of rad. I don't know why the purple side of this sweatshirt is so much smaller than the pink side. I gotta bring this side out. I gotta make it a little bit more symmetrical. It looks terrible. There you go. Okay, you know what? Honestly, after looking at it, that looks kind of cool. He was very hairy. Okay, so two things. We get we get two hints from this. First of all, male. Second of all, very hairy. I, I Okay, all right. I'm, I'm gonna give you hair just everywhere. There, there's gonna be hair on your hands, man. There's hair coming out of your, especially like the chest hair coming up through the, the collar of the shirt. Gotta love that. And and hair coming off of your ears. There you go. That's, that's a look. And messy looking. How do you make someone look messy? You give them one of these faces. Blah. <laughs> And they have very angry eyes. Urgh, I'm so messy. I don't know what I've just created, but hopefully this helps us catch our culprit. You're not hairy enough. You're also not wearing pink or purple. You have a cool top hat, but you ain't the person. Oh my gosh, look at, look at her mouth and look at the mouth that I drew. Just saying. Coincidence? You can be the judge. It's not her though. <laughs> She's not hairy enough. This guy, no. He's definitely messy. They got the gunk all over his face. Use a napkin, you weirdo. This guy, look at this guy. Unibrow, the full-on beard. I mean, like, this is a hairy person. And they got the mess on their face. It's almost obscured by their insane hair. I think this might be the one. Can we check all the boxes? We got pink shirt, we got messy face, and we got, we got a lot of hair. You don't have hair coming out of your hands, but nobody else does either. So I think this is the best candidate. This is a tricky one, but I think we're right. I think we're right. We're right. What can I say? Is that 20 for 20? Dang. The corner shop culprit is ready to, to get out. However, he set the prison on fire. He was selling contraband. And he attacked someone. You're staying in jail. Look at this guy. He looks like my accountant. Actually, an, actually a psychopath. Not my accountant, but this guy. Um, you're staying in jail, man. <laughs> no, you you are insane. <laughs> Thank you. I've made the correct decision. It was kind of obvious. The smelly dog snatcher. <laughs> what? Does do they snatch only dogs that are stinky or are they stinky themselves? <laughs> that's that's the ultimate question. I can't remember the color, but they had a hat on. Oh my gosh. I have an idea. You guys probably can't tell where I'm going with this one quite yet, but if you can, at this point, let me know in the comment section if you can tell just based on this who I'm about to draw, you're a true gamer. This is going to give it away though. This is going to give it away pretty quickly right here. That's all you need. Y'all know who it is the world's greatest criminal specifically against small mushroom shaped creatures and turtles they were wrapped up warm i might tell you wearing long sleeve shirts with overalls will keep you nice and warm oh it's coming together slowly but surely i'm just making sure that i'm i'm filling in as much of the dead space as i possibly can i want to make this a truly glorious rendition of of one of my childhood heroes who has sunk down stealing stinky dogs <laughs> oh my gosh this is so cursed i love it let's see what's next they had a scar on their face oh my gosh mario has been through some stuff all right we gotta draw his face or at least try to how am i gonna draw a mustache it's gonna be so hard to do with my fat fingers all right i'm gonna i'm gonna try i mean that's a that's a pretty good mario mustache oh by the way this is mario from super mario brothers you guys already know who this is I gotta give him a, a big old round nose. I mean, how he kind of looks like Wario, honestly. <laughs> and then of course he's he's got he's got blue eyes. Um, gosh, that is that <laughs> is so bad. <laughs> Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. All right. Okay. And then he has a scar on his face. How do I, how do I get like a scar? I mean, I guess that, no, those look more like sideburns, which Mario has. Like he has his sideburns. There you go. There, there's the scar, the little red mark. 
That's really bad, and I love it. Let's see if we can find Mario. It ain't you. You don't have a scar on your face. No hat. She's not wearing a hat. No hat. No hat. You're wearing a hat. You have a scar on your face, and you are kind of wearing warm clothes, although I would argue the shorts, not so warm. Let's see if we can find a better option. It ain't this guy. He's not warm enough. Not warm. No scar. I, oh man, I think this might be Bizarro Mario. The only thing that's throwing me off with this guy is the shorts, but I don't think there's anybody else who fits the bill. I think you're the guy, man. <sighs> This could ruin our streak, but on the bright side, we have this very cursed version of Mario that I drew myself. Arrest this man! Mario, go to jail! We've done it! Mission accomplished! Mario will no longer run free, stealing stinky dogs. And you can take that to the bank.